Breaking news, Cristiano Ronaldo's time at Old Trafford officially over. Manchester United saying that they have mutually parted ways effective immediately. This coming on the heels of Ronaldo going public with his criticisms of the club and manager Eric Ten Hag at a televised interview that aired just before the World Cup. And Man U tweeting out moments ago, Cristiano Ronaldo is to leave Manchester United by mutual agreement with immediate effect. The club thanks him for his immense contribution across two spells at Old Trafford. For more on this, we bring in James Benz. James, why did it come to this for the two sides? Well, it was it was pretty inevitable when an employer accuses his club of betraying him and says that he has no respect for his manager. What else can you do? And the reality is, if Cristiano Ronaldo hadn't agreed to, to rip up his contract in conjunction with Manchester United, then Manchester United would, as I understand it, likely have, have continued down a, a, the path they were on, which was exploring options that could have led to Ronaldo being sacked. Um, I'm still trying to clarify whether or not Ronaldo will receive any of the remaining six months on his contract. I think that's highly l- unlikely, given the circumstances. As you said, you know, this this interview was utterly explosive. It was bizarrely timed with Ronaldo due to play in the World Cup on Thursday, uh, and has ended you know a career that as we see there with those numbers 140 champions league goals five titles it's kind of ended a career that uh, uh, quite possibly at the top level in europe that has been one of the greatest ever but increasingly has been divisive and and proven he's a difficult player to manage as he enters the kind of fading final years of his prime yeah he'll turn 38 years old this february what's next for ronaldo well i mean one thing that i I'm aware of and have reported on in the past is there is interest in Saudi Arabia. Now, Ronaldo referenced one offer that came his way in that interview, a huge offer. My understanding is a rival club uh, in in Saudi Arabia have made Ronaldo aware previously over the summer of their interest in him and that that interest would remain into January after the World Cup. I think there was always a view among those Saudi clubs where the league isn't of the highest standard that Ronaldo would want to be playing at the top level before the World Cup. What happens after the World Cup, that's anyone's guess. But look, the salary he's paid, there's only so many teams that can afford him. And we've seen with Manchester United, he doesn't necessarily make the squad better. You know, with United, they, they, they'd they finished second in the Premier League the year before he arrived. They scraped into the Europa League the following season. Um, there are not going to be a huge number of takers in Europe, I don't think. I guess one to watch out for is Chelsea. Their owner, Todd Bowley, was very interested in signing Ronaldo. At the time, the head coach, Thomas Tuchel, told him it was totally the wrong idea. Tuchel has left since, so so Chelsea are definitely one to watch out for in the Premier League. But I don't see there being a rush on the services of a, of a player who's proven he's pretty difficult to coach, it has to be said. Interesting timing as well with the World Cup just underway. What do you see for the prospects of Cristiano Ronaldo and Portugal in what might be his final go-round at the World Cup? I can't. I could see anything. I could see them getting right the way through to the final because they're on the right side of the bracket if they do manage to top their group. Um, They have fantastic players. It's kind of, uh, at at Portugal, it's a very similar story to at Manchester United, which is you get the sense that the players around Ronaldo would be playing better if he wasn't in the team. You know, they've got a tough group, Ghana, Uruguay and uh, South Korea. That's three tough games, but they should get out of the group. They'll be hopeful of topping it. And then you never know. And how remarkable would it be if this story that's began with him being, you know, without a club ends with him lifting the trophy? I don't quite see that happening, but I would not want to be coming up against Ronaldo with a point to prove. So best of luck to the defenders who are going to be coming up against him in the next few games. They've got Ghana coming up in Group H on Thursday. James Benj with us here on CBS Sports HQ as Ronaldo's time at Man U has once again come to an end. Looking at his accolades, the five-time Ballon d'Or winner won the Euros with Portugal in 2016, but that World Cup still evading one of the greatest players of all time. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.